When you're talking in front of a camera, you say, act normal. So you're supposed to act normal. You're supposed to act like you're talking to people. When you're talking to multiple cameras, you'll generally have a cue on the teleprompter or somebody off stage that tells you camera one, camera two, camera three. Okay, we should get labels on the front side for that, by the way? Right. Okay. The thing that you have to remember and the thing that is a bit to remember when you're first doing this when you're not in the studio is you have to stop camera one, stop camera three. There has to be, because when you're naturally talking and you're looking between cameras and you go to cut it, it doesn't matter what it looks like when you do this, it matters that when you cut it, you need a clear cut point. Yeah, I agree. So you can turn and we can keep that in the final cut, but you can't be turning while talking because there's nowhere to cut, put changes, put graphics in there. The other one and the thing that makes humans naturally uncomfortable when talking to cameras versus talking to people is you're used to talking to a person and you're used to things like the sales call I was on the other day where when somebody asked me a question and then asked me the same question again, I just sit there. There's no sound. And he just sits there and he gets this awkward, like there's an awkward silence. People don't know what to do with that awkward silence. So we're not used to having a silence in a conversation. However, if you're conversing with someone, the other person will naturally insert something into the silence. So we're not used to it. So what the brain does is the brain says, I have to continue talking in a stream to respond to a person. There's no person there. So I'm going to inject words. And so your brain stops to think and you'll be in the middle of a sentence. You'll lose a word. You'll say, um, so then, and then continue talking. The other thing is in this one, you got the other day, but you were reading. When you're naturally talking, you don't do the same thing as when you're reading. When you're naturally talking to a camera, you can pause for as long as you want. So when you're ad-libbing something, you don't need to inject a word to keep the conversation flowing and then keep talking and talking and then inject a word because you need to keep talking. You just stop. Any period of silence shows up in the audio graph that you get. And so you just cut right at the beginning and then you cut right at the end. The way that you learn how to present in front of a camera and the way that you learn how to present correctly in front of a camera when you're doing training is you record a script or you record a certain segment of time and then you watch it. Then you record again and then you watch it and then you record again and then you watch it and you continue until you can keep your head in a certain area on camera. You can keep your hands within the invisible box that exists on every camera because human speech generally can go all the way out to the extremes, but on camera, you only get a little box that you can behave in. So your head has to always stay when you're looking inside of that box, up and down inside of that box. And like fidgety people, fidgety people tend to move around way too much and they get out of the bound. So I have tape on the floor. Right? Yeah. yeah, but you'll still move out of the bound. And when you're wiggling and doing things, when you try to cut, like if I'm talking like this, I stop and then I start talking again. If you're moving around, you'll be moving around and stop. You're still moving and then you start talking. When that gets cut, the face is going to go from here to care. here. Well, this is also why we have three cameras because we can just cut to this camera uh -huh. while you're talking. It doesn't matter what the actual angle on your face is. You don't have to be looking at it. But the problem with cutting is when you're talking in a straight line and then you say then, so um, maybe I, uh. so you're going along, you're editing in the straight line and now all of a sudden you have brum or you have uh and you can't cut right after it because it blends into the speech.